I was a normal kid. Played, swam, loved and lost. I took a blue ribbon at the state fair for a giant watermelon. When I was of age, I fell in love with a fantastic girl. But I had a dark fear. A dark fear that would pose a problem to my new love. I just love our little strolls together. Me too. They're so relaxing and romantic all at the same time. <laughs> just think of all the walks we can have in our years to come. I do, often. You know, I think I'm about as happy as I could ever be. <laughs> Nothing will ever come between us. But it did. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Pardon me, have you seen any cats wandering around here? Roxanne, I, I think I saw a cat over there. Over where? Like, like over there, like a ways, like, like far away. Oh, like far away. Oh yeah, good eyes, baby. I'm Gerald. I'm Beverly. You feel this, right? This isn't just me? I do. I can't believe it. But I'm betrothed to Roxanne. But our love is strong and true. But... Where'd you say? I don't see any cats. Far. Farther away. I never knew love could be like this. My world is a simple short-haired cat ranch. Cat rancher? Oh no. What? What is it? My fear of cats. Kittens in particular. How could you be afraid of such lovely animals? You don't understand. Tell me. It's complicated. Guys, I'm sorry. I couldn't find any cats. But I couldn't be away from her very long. I knew what I had to do. You know why we're here. I do. We always come to this bridge to discuss our important moments. It's Beverly. That harlot! Don't speak ill of the woman I now love. She's a common cat rancher! Our differences bring us together. But your fear of kittens... Love will find a way. Shh. It's ludicrous. We had our good times, Roxanne. Our living room rap album! The arson. All oh, the arson. We counseled those mimes. The dancing. Na na na. Na na. Na na. Na na. Let's go, Daddy. With that, she drove out of my life. But I was hopeful because I had a new chapter, a new lease on life, with my new love. But my new love was impeded by Beverly's stepbrother, Ralph. How can you expect to live here? I'll just stay away from the cats. This is a short-haired cat ranch. You don't understand. And I never will. <laughs> he has his reasons. This is a short-haired cat ranch. This is all you've ever known. It's in your blood. It's all you can ever be. Don't talk like that. You have a decision to make. All you've ever known are a man who can't even stand to be around kittens. He's right. This won't work. Things have to change. But how? I, Gerald Fitzgerald, shall overcome my fears. I shall roam with the kittens. Little did I know that once I got inside, all hell would break loose. Horribly disfigured, I roam the woods in disguise. Watching my love from afar, a monster that no one could look at, let alone love. And then, she saved me. You know I can see you! Why don't you come out and we can talk about it? Come on! Come out! There we go. Let's go inside and we can talk about it. Why have you been hiding from me? My horribly scarred face. Is that a paper plate? And is that my sheet? Yeah. 
Just let me see. How could you love a man that looks like this? Our love can overcome anything. Doesn't look that bad. I guess it's okay now. Well, I guess we avoided a catastrophe.